What's going on, the beautiful people of YouTube? It's Rain Bean. Got a pretty cool video here today. The people over at Toy and K Toys reached out to me and said, Hey, we got some Fallout stuff we'd like to send you. Unbox it, review it, tell us what you think. So that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to check this stuff out. I believe we got the Look See Crate as well as some of the Nano Figure lines. I'm going to tell you what I think about it. Uh, is it really worth the money? And we'll just go from there. So sit back and relax. Let's check it out. Alright everybody, so I'm super excited about opening up this package. As a lot of people know, I'm an avid fan of Fallout. I've enjoyed the series all the way since the beginning. All the way up to 76, I've had fun with each and every one of them. Uh, even, you know, Brotherhood of Steel, you know, Fallout Tactics, as well as 76. I can get enjoyment out of all of them. So, to see what's in here has got me pretty excited. So, the box itself that they sent is pretty big. I'd say it's probably like 18 inches by 20 inches. I don't know... What their standard is, I believe there's two different items in here, so and you know doesn't really matter for the the box size. You may get something different or smaller, but let's see here. Let's go ahead and crack this open and see exactly what's going on. And I'll leave links to these particular items that you can get. It's toyandk.com, um, but I'll leave in the description the actual links to to what these items are. And I believe the one of them is 64.99 right now, free shipping. Uh, which is going to be the the bigger package, which is the Fallout or the the Luxie gift gift box, and then the Nano figures. I believe they uh, they start out like twelve ninety nine and go up from there. So they're not bad in price. Um, so let's see exactly what we got here. I can already see the Pip Boy or not the Pip. Oh, wow, I do that every single time. The uh, the Vault Boy, and he always gets my blood pumping. So let's see, we got a piece of paper here this is about returns and whatnot you probably don't need to see all that um, shouldn't be no return needed uh, well there's it says there's three items in here we got the fallout nano force nano force what, what am I what about insane nano force series uh, one army builder figure uh, collection uh, fallout uh, nano series army builder uh, collection box it says box volumes one and two and then of course the fallout look -see box uh, the the bigger items. So we'll start out with the smaller items and then we'll go from there. Uh, stuff already looks amazing from what I'm seeing. They've done actually really well with the packaging when I open this up. And that's like one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to ordering anything online, whether it's something from eBay or I'm buying something brand new. Packaging's like, it's, it's got to be good. Uh, and this one obviously ships well. The box, there's like no available space. Uh, so the smaller line, the Nano Force series, I can already tell that's actually that's actually pretty damn cool. Uh, let's see, this is the this is Volume Two, I believe. So that is the Nano Force Fallout Two series, and we're gonna open this up and check that out. Uh, and then this is the first one. This is just this is actually pretty cool. It's got the Vault Boy, or no? I'm so, <laughs> well, that's not Vault Boy. That's Prime. Oh wow! Uh, and then there's there's the Vault Boy right there, and that set right there. And these sets include a bunch of different figures, but the packaging on that's actually really well done. And for I'd say free shipping, and like I said, these these smaller set I I want to say started out like twelve ninety nine. Believe these might be twenty bucks free shipping. That's not bad from what I'm seeing so far at all. So this would be a pretty damn good gift so let's go ahead and open up one of these and check it out we'll start off with the nano force fallout one uh three plastic figures let's see what we got i really got to save these packages i i'm one of those weird people um you know if you don't follow the channel a lot of the people that watch my channel you know we're collectors so we like to keep everything as pristine as possible if we can if the forces will allow it all right so let's open this up Packaging again is good. I'm, I'm weird, I guess. You know, some people, you know, they probably don't care about packaging, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty particular about it. It says there's 52 plastic figures in total. Uh, you can see front and back, and that's m probably what these figures are about, if I'm not mistaken, which a lot of times I am. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So let's check out these figures. Let me put this stuff off to the side. Had I known about this stuff for Christmas, like 20 bucks, that would have been an excellent gift. Uh, to a Fallout fan, because that's not bad at all. I'll uh, check out the Vault Boy. Oh, he's cool. 
Uh, very nice on him. And like I said, I got this little Fallout shrine. I ain't going to say little. It's actually it's it's quite big. Uh, the shrine in the master bedroom. I don't know how I'm going to fit all this stuff in there. Uh, really well done on the figure. Not bad at all. I've never been the biggest fan of actually collecting toys, but when it comes to like video game related items, I collect them all day. Uh, so very go. Cool. Oh, look at the super mutant. Check him out holding his Gatlin gun. That is cool. Definitely awesome. Uh, and I believe yeah, it's like a is that like a mystery figure? Is that what that is? Yeah, and uh, plus one bonus four inch scale figure. Wonder what it could be for for whatever reason. I want it to be a Mister Handy. I don't know why. Uh, where is my razor blade? The other types of figures in here, we got a Brotherhood of Steel soldier, very cool. Uh, another uh, Super Mutant, which is awesome. And like I said, I believe you want to set these up on the map. I'm not too sure on that, actually. I um, don't know how you would look to do that to display. Just another Vault Boy flexing that thing on you. God almighty, they even sculpted his rump on there. <laughs> Pretty cool, actually. Uh, let's see, we got, uh, yeah, these, these are just like Vault Boy... Uh, like just like kind of like mini bobbleheads in a sense. Uh, pretty cool. We got an atom bomb. How often have you played Fallout and had an atom bomb baby stuck in your head? Uh, let's see. We got a Protectron. Very cool. Oh man, very awesome. Very awesome. Dog meat man. Come on with his armor on too. If that it was that New Vegas, if I'm not mistaken, armor on. You can tell I've played a lot of Fallout. Uh, and then let's see what this mystery figure is about here. That's that's uh. Listen, I don't know what, what type of figures it could be. Like I said, I want it to be like some fully fledged uh, Mr. Handy. I don't know what. There's a bunch of other little figures, actually. And maybe it's this right here, which is the Grognak Axe. I know exactly what that is. That, I believe, is the special figure. And inside, you got just other... Oh, that's cool. You got Raider armor on, uh, on this character right here. Very cool. The Grim Reaper for, uh, what is that, uh, Critical, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, I'm probably wrong on that one. Uh, and then a another Brotherhood, I believe, right there. But look at this, the Grognak Axe. Come on now, that's awesome. When I was playing Fallout 76, my go-to weapon was the Grognak, uh, and that thing was a beast. So I, I can't remember exactly the price on this one. I'll probably put like a caption above my big head here, uh, tell you exactly what this cost. But if it, if it was like 20 bucks... Free shipping? That's 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 pretty cool, actually. I couldn't I couldn't argue that at all. Um, so, anyways, let's open up the second package here. I gotta be careful not to get this stuff all over the place. All right, so number two here, we got this one right here. It's got the awesome uh, Nuka Cola girl on the front, and then you got the big figure of Liberty Prime, which is awesome. You know, classic Fallout Three right there. Uh, let's see. This one says it also includes exclusive new figures from Fallout Seventy Six. Hopefully, I can guess them correctly. Oh, let's see here. Let's open them up. I already see a figure in there. Let's put a smile on my face. That's just awesome seeing these things. And I can actually display them. And people will come over and be like, what the hell is that? And I'll be like, man, you don't know? Come on now. Oh, uh, this is this is cool. This stuff is made for a Fallout fan. I 100%. Uh, so that same map, I believe, in there. Uh, it, has to, it has to do with the figures. Uh, yeah, so it's the same one, so I believe you just set all these out. Maybe just uh, just to kind of show off your collection, um, if you had all sets. Uh, so anyways, let's check these figures out right here. We'll start off with the very awesome front and center uh, Liberty Prime holding up an atom bomb. That's actually, that's, that's, that's pretty cool right there. So this is the figure here that made me laugh, and that is Mr. Jangles the Moon Monkey. That's just funny right there. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so that's something someone will pick up who has no idea what Fallout is. They're going to be like, what the hell is that? And I'll be like, come on, man. That's Jangles. Everybody knows everybody knows Jangles, man. Come on. Uh, so let's open up the uh, smaller package here and see everything we got inside. i tell you what would be really cool is that to figure if it was another weapon, if it was a handmade, man. That was my go-to right there. Uh, let's pull these out. So the first figure we got here, uh, another Brotherhood. And I can't exactly tell you what he's holding weapon wise it looks like just like a basic combat shotgun uh let's see there is a mr handy check him out he's pretty cool like i said pretty pretty good detail on them there's you know there's no paint these are all solid colors uh but for the amount of of line work on them they look great uh let's see here we got ah uh, what is this 
I just want to say maybe this is a, a, just a regular uh, vault dweller without combat armor, without uh, power armor. Uh, maybe like going like a stealth build or something. Maybe. Uh, let me see. I want to look that one up. A raider veteran. Okay. Going more for like a 76 style. We got, <laughs> we got the alcoholic vault boy right here. What was that one called? That was a uh, booze booze hound maybe. Uh, that one perk. Uh, we got Commando right here. Very cool. The Vault Boy for uh, 76. We got the classic Nuka Cola figure right there. Very cool. I'm sorry if I'm not doing a great job of actually showing uh, these figures. The problem is I'm so far away uh, from the camera. I can't really show them that well. And then we got another um, actual uh, Super Mutant. Starting to draw a blank right there. He's, he's pretty damn cool. Um, at the end of the video, I'll probably set all this stuff up in a little bit better detail. Kind of show you exactly what it is. Um, so let's see here. In the mystery package. What is inside? Uh, number one. We, <laughs> we got the Fighting Irish Vault Boy. Oh, this is cool. We have the um, Excavator Armor, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, on that one right there. And again, I'm not showing these that well. Uh, hope, like I said, I'm going to have to set it up at the end of the video and show you uh, all exactly what this stuff looks like. Uh, oh, man, this is cool right here. Check this guy out. And uh, what is that? It's a, it's a, it's like a terminal bot. Um, damn, I can't remember his name. Um, it, it'll come to me right when this video is over. But very awesome to have him. Someone's going to be like, man, how could you forget that one name on him? Like, come on, man, I'm going through a billion figures here and this is cool right here this is the uh secret figure this is the nuka gun nuka blaster and that is actually very awesome so setting that up next to the grognak that'll be that'll be pretty cool so let's move on to the uh to the finale here which is the the big box the one that i'm pretty excited about there's one particular item in there that when i saw the picture i was like oh man that's amazing and that that's actually included in there so that is going to be something to check out and this thing is, I can already tell it's going to be packaged really awesome. Let me pull this out. It's got its own little handle, and it's quite heavy. Look at that thing, guys. Oh, my God. Uh, six, like I said, $64.99. I want to say they had this on, They had this originally at $99.99. And from what I saw initially, I was like, ah, it's, it's a little high. Uh, but at $64.99, it, it looked right. It looked, you know, for the price, it looked like something that I would get. Um, so let's see if it actually matches up with the quality from the pictures that I've seen. So again, the box, it's absolutely awesome. Uh, that's, that's actually a good figure piece right there. Got the big Bethesda on the back right there. No matter how you feel about Bethesda, they always got a place in my heart for giving me hours of endless enjoyment that I could have been using doing something else. So I believe that's, a, that's said with a lot of video games. All right, so let's open up this beast and see exactly what's inside. Like I said, it feels heavy. Um, there's one item in there that I know that would, I would say, at least weighs a pound. Um, I don't know what else is, is causing that much weight. So let's check it out. We'll open this bad boy up. I want to try to save this box. The box looks amazing. I'm weird about that. I collect boxes. I know that's a weird thing, but a lot of us do. All right, let's see. I can already see. Let's go ahead and pull it. This is... The item that, that that has the weight does it still have a decent amount yeah it still has a good bit of weight i'd say that's about a half of it i was wrong i'd say that's probably like a pound and a half though no, i have no idea all right guys are you ready for the reveal on this one this is this is pretty cool to have right here uh i'm super excited about having that in the collection nuka cola quantum right there very awesome man this was made by the jones soda corporation and again like i said they sold out immediately when they made this and I don't know if they ever made like a new production run on them or anything, but uh, it's a berry lemonade soda. I'll, I'll never drink this. This is going to sit on the shelf uh, for 100 years, and after the bombs drop, hopefully it'll start glowing on us, uh, and then I'll probably drink it. Uh, but that's that's actually really cool right there. This is something that I've wanted for quite some time. This is another package of the Nano Force. So if you wanted to give someone a gift, uh, you know, I don't know if you would go with one of the other packages over the whole gift box itself because these included and inside i can see all the figures that i had already the nuka the nuka gun nuka blaster uh you got dog meat in there and the, these are ones we've all seen before uh so that's actually really cool right there to include in this package you got to look at it from the standpoint of if you just ordered this box alone versus ordering those other things so 
Let's check out the other items inside here. Oh, I remember what else caused uh, some of the weight to this, and that's this right here. This is actually really cool right here. This is the Tricentennial Fallout 76 mug right here, and <laughs> I'm, I'm actually uh, pretty happy about this one. I actually don't drink coffee anymore, uh, but I do have some tea here and there, and this will be good for some tea, so let's check this thing out. Again, good packaging, good box. These are things that you want to save as a collector. Um, and I believe that's what a lot of this applies to is, is collectors. Uh, where someone new getting into the series and they just have a new love for a game they didn't ever realize they had. Because uh, Fallout will do that to you. Oh, this is nice right here. With the Vault 76 right on the back. And then you have the classic Vault 76 on the other side. The, the classic logo you see right there. Uh, that's That's very neat. No chips, no tears, nothing. Uh, so that's cool. I can definitely dig that right there. All right. What else is in this package right here? Oh, that's cool already. Uh, let's see. This is a Nuka Cola Girl Metal Litho Print. Uh, that is neat right there. That is very cool right there. That is going to be hung up for sure. My wife's going to get all upset to see the, the, the Nuka Cola Girl all over the house. But you know what? You got to represent Fallout. That's just, that's just the way it goes. So, and it's got the pinholes in it, too, for, uh, to hang it up properly, which is nice. Tin. Very nice. Good design, good artwork. Very good artwork. <laughs> we all know how that goes. Uh, so, very cool right there. That is included in this package. What else do we got in here? It's, it's like a bunch of stuff in here. I didn't, I didn't realize. Uh, we got Fallout Collector's Trading Cards Series 1 right here. This is a Toy NK.com exclusive. So let's see what is inside right here. Oh, these 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 are cool. All right, we got these, these are like I see. We got Tesla Science Magazine on the back here. Tesla issue number eight, giant super weapons. Kind of gives you a little the script on the back. Good artwork on the front. Let's see. Oh, we got the Gamma Gun. And that, like, again, it just shows you what what it is on the back, and it does it kind of like in the uh, Pip Boy style right there, which is very neat. Good artwork on it too. Oh, let's see here. <laughs> it's just like a just like a representation of the war itself. The Museum of Free. Oh, it's the Museum of Freedom mural. Okay, six card image, four of six. So I, uh, you put all four of these. I'm sorry, all six of these together to make a bigger image. I probably got that turned all all wrong. I wonder if you need all the sets in order to make that image though. Uh, Backwoodsman. Oh, I love the little magazine cards. These are cool right here art of the tomahawk right there check that out look at that look at that, that artwork on there fallout fans are probably looking at this like oh man that's cool and i'm probably doing a terrible job of showing these oh uh, what gun is that is it a pipe rifle of some sort no that's a surrender dear lord i'm an idiot uh it's been a minute since i've been on fallout 76 the last fallout game that i've been playing and my light is doing terrible right there oh uh, what is this one the minutemen logo okay there we go. Another settlement needs your help. Always remember that. <laughs> the walls have eyes. All the, the, the posters, the all the propaganda posters, uh, very cool. And the cards are really nice quality, actually. These are something that, that they, they've done well with. Uh, let's see. We got the Pip-Boy right here representing Vault 111. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This is cool. The alien ship right here. From Fallout. I'm trying to hold these in a way you can actually see them. That's cool. And again, on the back, if I can show these things. People are probably looking at this like, you you have no idea what you're doing. You're kind of right on that one. Uh, T60 Power Armor. Very, oh, and that's very cool. It's got the, uh, it's got dog meat right on the bottom. Kind of looks like the Fallout 4 loading screen, in a sense. Uh, or the menu. Very awesome. Classic Vault Boy right there. With the thumbs up. Everybody always wonders about that thumbs up. Uh, you know, apparently from the Fallout lore, uh, you hold your thumb in front of your eye right there, and if you can see the mushroom cloud on the outline of your thumb, uh, you're not far back enough away. But if the cloud disappears, you're safe, good to go. So that's where he comes from, and then of course the index of cards right there. So we don't have enough to make the actual picture of that mural, but hey, that's still pretty neat. All right, we got a couple more things left in the box here. We got a. Vault Boy Bobblehead, all right, and again the packaging, man, they did really well with that. It's on point. This uh, this came from Loot Crate, okay. 
Loot Crate exclusive Vault Boy, maybe? That they were able to get with this one, perhaps? I used to have Loot Crate a long time ago, and I just stopped getting it. Um, at that time, you know, it was just an expenditure I didn't need, but I missed out on this one, apparently. Oh, very cool. Oh, very cool, man. Check him out. Oh, and his little head, of course. He bobbles. Check him out right there. That is awesome. It'd be really cool if it had, like, some adhesive right here. Um, I would put that on my dash big time. Everybody can have their hula girl. I'd have the vault boy. Uh, representing vault 111. So very awesome right there. If you had loot crate, you already had this already. Uh, but for someone who doesn't and getting all this at once, that's that's pretty neat. All right. And the final item right here, one of the biggest items in here. And I can say it looks pretty damn cool uh, from what I'm seeing already. Oh, let's see. Oh, I did not realize that's what that does. That is impressive i did not know that's exactly what they did i knew it was it was like a statue um i didn't really oh that's this is cool guys uh the vault boy statue but he holds your controller are you kidding me uh and it's got a two millimeter cable included with it already what he charged through his through him or something or is this to, to help you oh that is that that is cool right there oh uh, let's open this guy up that, I just thought it was a statue. I didn't realize it actually held your controller. That'll look awesome in the master bedroom. That's where I keep my Xbox One X and PS4 and all that. Um, that that is going to be awesome. Um, I was com I was completely surprised, but I just thought it was a big statue. Uh, I just didn't look look too uh, too much into it. So there is your charging cable. If you had rechargeable uh, style uh, pack inside, and then the actual. Oh god, he's heavy too. He's got weight to him. As do I. <laughs> Check him out, man. That is awesome right there. That is absolutely for the size of him too. Oh, I wish I had a controller in here to actually show you. Here we'll we'll put the uh check in. <laughs> that is awesome right there. Um I'm I'm pretty damn shocked about that. Uh that that is cool. So that's it. That's all I got for this video. So the questions that are meant to be asked, is this stuff worth the money? Who does this stuff really appeal to? And would a Fallout fan want this stuff? Well, I'm a Fallout fan and I'm happy to have it. Uh, for the price, uh, for the first two packages that we opened up, I believe, like I said, they were 20 bucks. If I'm wrong, I'll put the prices above me or the price difference of what they are. Um, for free shipping on this stuff, that's a great deal. If you needed a last minute gift for a fan of Fallout or for someone uh, gaming related, it's not bad at all. For the big Kahuna package here at $99, which is what this thing was originally listed, I'd say that's a pass on me. That's just a bit high. But at $64.99, free shipping. Shipping on that probably ate them up a good 10%, 15% of what they got already for the package. So that's not bad at all. Um, you you got to keep in mind, you got the convenience of everything's all in one. And it's, it's ready to go. You don't have to go out, get all this stuff separately. It's ready to go, delivered in a nice way, packaged well good display good stuff for your collection so i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was fun making it you got to see me fanboy out on a lot of uh fallout stuff which is always fun and i'll leave the links to this stuff in the description so you can go check this stuff out for yourself if you had any interest in it toy and k toys i checked them out they actually had a bunch of other stuff not just fallout related items so i would actually definitely definitely recommend checking them out it was a pretty cool experience so as always guys take care and enjoy the rest of your day